Hey, what's going on guys? Silver Surfer coming your way again. Just wanted to show you guys a couple more Morgans I added to my collection. Uh, as you know, I worked on a date set and completed that. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this thing some. So, been trying to look for coins that have some type of, you know, something going on for them. Either high gem grade or nice toning, proof like, um, kind of key date coin, something along those lines specific within the years that I have um, and update those. And in the meantime, I've also been working on coins that if I have the date in mint mark, say a, whatever, 1921 Philly, um, I would go ahead and try and pick up a different mint mark to add to a more full Morgan dollar collection. Uh, I don't wanna go ahead and say that I'm going to work on putting together a Morgan dollar collection because that is quite the feat and can take, you know, that's a, that's a lifetime goal right there. Um, I would, but in the meantime, as I'm adding coins to this collection, I've been, like I said, getting ones that I don't have those mint marks to. And so uh, as I update this date set, and so with doing so, I've actually started acquiring a decent amount of having a full collection. So again, I, I'm still a long ways off from getting anywhere near having a full Morgan dollar collection. And I don't want to go ahead and say that because I don't want to not commit to it and fail. <laughs> Uh, and you know have that lingering over so I just like to say yeah I'm updating my date set with uh, some coins um, that I don't actually have the mint marks to at that time and you know the, the problem that I'm running into in the very near future is that I've got to the point to where um, the majority of the years that I needed to upgrade uh, from you know the raw ones I have which I guess I'm not really upgrading because I haven't gotten rid of those but uh, the point is, is that I've gotten to the, the point now where I'm like, man, a lot of these coins, you know, are within the years are starting to run into the more challenging and expensive mint marks uh, for um, the collection. So it's like I either got to get the same coin I have raw uh, upgraded or um, get a lower grade in a different mint mark that I don't have yet. And, and that's kind of one of the reasons why, like I said, uh, I'm like, I'm pausing on putting together a full mint or a full Morgan dollar collection. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and start off with this gem right here, man. Such a beautiful coin. Got it in the old MGC fatty holder. This is a 1900 O from New Orleans mint mark. Uh, an absolute luster bomb going on here. This thing's got relatively clean devices. Uh, her cheek looks actually really nice. Uh, and you can see that that cartwheel, cartwheel swirl that's going on here on the obverse, such a beautiful coin. Um, you know, relatively, relatively cheap price for, for what it is. Um, and just uh, a nice strike on this New Orleans. You know, a lot of the New Orleans coins, they had a more flat strike above Liberty's ear right there, but you can see the lines and detail in that pretty well. Um, and then that last curl uh, to the right of her um, truncation neck there there is a, another spot in which it's usually pretty flat looking but this one looks pretty good man uh, and then on the reverse same situation on a, a lot of the new orleans have a pretty um, bare flat chested uh, uh, breast feathers <coughs> on the eagle however this one looks pretty good too it's got a little tone mark going on at the bottom portion of uh, of the eagle's belly but aside from that man just a nice coin look at that luster Absolutely gorgeous. And I, I have such crummy lighting and I apologize every every video practically showing you guys, but um, you get the gist of it. And this thing just, just shines in hand. It's really, really cool. Uh, and like I said, old NGC holder. So, you know, nice high gem coin uh, grade with pretty cool little historical old holder. Uh, I'm happy with that pickup right there. And I didn't have this, uh, this mint mark. I have a the 1900 uh, Philly is the one I got. Uh, okay, moving on to more freshly graded uh, 21D. So this is a 63. Uh, these coins were, as you guys know, the highest amount of Morgan dollars that were minted. It was after the, uh, the stop from 1904, and they reminted these again for a short period as they got the authorization to mint silver dollars again. Uh, and the next design is 
all you guys know, is a peace dollar. So that was minted for only a few days at the end of December 1921. But in the meantime, to fill that void, they ended up putting uh, uh, Morgan dollar dies, some of them back together, and their strikes and appearances came out wonkier than their previous years. Um, and that's why they're not really highly desired amongst the Morgan dollar community. Um, but you have to have it for the collection. And it's also a relatively uh, inexpensive coin to own. Uh, in high, high grades, you're talking above 65, you're going to pay for it just because they don't, there's very few of them graded like that. So um, another interesting thing about the 21 is that it's the only Morgan dollar coin that was ever uh, minted at the Denver Mint. And so as you can see, 21D up there, uh, which is why I added this one. I'm going to get a 21 Philly as a raw. Um, but this one, I wanted something that was kind of historical, you know, something neat that I didn't have in the other one. And it's also got a beautiful little gold tone going on here on the obverse. Kind of difficult to see in this picture, but there you go. And look at that luster. Really, really, really nicely struck 21 and, uh, and pretty lustrous 21 in my opinion here. Uh, the reverse looks just as nice as the obverse. And yes, they struck a ton of these things, but they also melted a ton of these things too after um, after quite some time. So there's not, I mean, there's, these are relatively common and easy to find. But like I said, if you start getting in grades above 65, uh, you're going to pay a pretty penny for it. Look at that luster on the back. Just beautiful. Watch it swirl right there. So anyways, added this one to the collection as well. Um, and just wanted to share with you guys. So that's it for right now. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, Silver Surfer out.